Why do we as pipeline welders weld downhill? I'm gonna answer that question here in this video. For those of you that are new or may not know, I'm Austin Ross, a pipeline welder for seven years. And this is my YouTube channel where I share tips and tricks for rig welders, pipeliners, and the pipeline lifestyle. Subscribe if those are videos that you're interested in. And ring the bell to get notified when I post a new video every Friday. For those of you that are new or just getting into the pipeline industry or just getting into pipeline welding, you may already know that the 12 on 12 branch test is one of the most common weld tests that we gotta take on every job we go on. And we've actually made a list of my top five tips for the branch test. We'll put a link in the description. All you gotta do is punch in your name and email and we'll send the list right over to you. So why do pipeliners weld downhill? One of the biggest reasons we weld downhill is because downhill rod, which is 80-10, let's do a little schooling real quick. For those of you who may not know, the numbers on the welding rod, 80-10, 60-10, 60-11, 60-13, 70-18, 80-10, 60, 80, 10, 60, 10, 60, 11, 60, 13, 70, 18, 80, 18, all them numbers, the first two numbers are the tensile strength of that welding rod. So the most common rod that we use out on the pipeline is 60-10 and 80-10. 60,000 pounds of tensile strength, 80,000 pounds of tensile strength. 7018, 70, 70,000 pounds of tensile strength. Uphill welding is known to be stronger because of the penetration of your weld whenever you're welding. That's why like I think a lot of you have asked why we weld downhill. It's, you know, you wonder because in plants and in stations and uh, like high pressure stuff, most stuff is welded uphill with 7018, which is known as a uphill welding rod. Um, same with like TIG and stuff like that. It's all welded uphill, I'm pretty sure. I'm not a TIG hand. I'm not for certain. Comment below if you do know and let us all know if most TIG is uphill. I'm pretty sure it is, but let us know in the comments if you know. But the bad thing about uphill rod is it's more receptible, if that's a word, receptible to porosity like wind, uh, mostly wind. Um, but like dirt, you know, like whenever you're down in a ditch, it might be muddy, you know, when you're tying in pipe or whatever. Your downhill rod, also known as cellulose rod, is more forgiving. It's more forgiving to the wind. It don't, you, you're not going to catch porosity as easy as you would with 7018 rod, the uphill rod. You might drop your welding rods in the mud or whatever. You can just wipe them off and you can still weld with them and make a quality weld. As where 7018 requires a little bit more cleaning or a little bit more of a clean environment. So that's the biggest reason is because downhill rods are more forgiving. Another reason is it's a little bit faster. Whenever it comes to pipeline, it's like a assembly line, but instead of the product moving and you staying in one place, the product stays there and the welders move. And it's all about getting the pipeline welded up and put in the ground. Like it's a, it's a huge assembly line and it's all about production, you know. Whenever we get permits for these jobs, we jump on them and we get them done because it's a super important thing that the gas company needs done. People in the industry, people all over the world need these pipelines in the ground to transfer the gas that goes to your house, to your cars, uh, natural gas to heat your homes, like I already said. And uh, so it's a very important thing that whenever we get the permits to get the job done. So it tends to be, a oil field in general tends to be a hurry up and rush type thing. So most generally downhill welding is faster. But I would say the biggest reason is the rods are more forgiving and it holds up to the elements, the uh, weather and stuff that we have to weld in and the situations that we get in uh, whenever welding. So I hope that answers your question. That is all to my knowledge. If you have any more input, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to grab that list of my top five tips for the branch test if you are interested in that. My advice for this week is the welding machine that I recommend starting out with is an SA200. We'll put a link in the, in the description of a video that I made, actually the very first video that I ever made on this channel of why I suggest an SA200, but that is the welding machine that I suggest starting out on the pipeline. So go check out that video and learn something every day. We'll see you next Friday. Thanks for watching.